was faster than I'd anticipated. I had every confidence you'd make it back alive. And with the statue, no less. I must admit, I'm impressed. Now, hand them over, both of them. Don't play dumb with me, either. I know you're the one who defeated that creature in the quarry. Chester, don't! Elena? Dogi? You shouldn't be here. Why have you come? Sister Nell told us that Adel had come here to look for Father Pierre. Dogi had just returned and was going to follow him, so I came too. No end of trouble, I swear. Freezing my ass off climbing the Elder Mountains with monsters all around me and no equipment worth a damn. So I go back to town to regroup and try again. And what do I hear? The mayor's been hurt and Adol's off the ruins. And Chester, you've been missing for six months? What the hell, man? Chester, I don't mind that you've become one of Count McGuire's knights. No matter what people say you've done, you're still my brother. If you're truly following your heart, I would never stand in your way. But... Why? Why are you doing this? Why would you kidnap a priest? Or try to hurt Adolf? And... How come... You never contacted me, even just to let me know you were still alive? <laughs> are you done? I left town. Because I found the menial existence offered me there to be utterly repugnant. I wasn't thrilled at the prospect of babysitting you for the rest of my life, either, Ellen. What? I thought that if I became one of McGuire's knights, I could move up in the world and make something of myself, as opposed to living a peasant's existence in some backwater town, biding my time until I died poor. It was all dragging me down, Ellen. Living life in a place where nothing matters is the height of tedium. Not just one element of it, but every part of every day. You, the town, my past, everything, all meaningless. What? What are you saying? Chester, you son of a bitch! What the hell is wrong with you? I could ask the same thing. You have no right to feel indignant, don't you? I simply chose the same path in life as you. Or have you conveniently forgotten that you abandoned Redmond on a whim eight years ago? I... Ugh. None of us are children anymore. Keep your statues for now. I'm sure they'll be safest in your care. As I said, I became one of Count McGuire's knights to rid myself of my past. That includes you, Dougie. You are no longer a part of my life. I suggest you forget about me and move along. Get in my way and you'll be very, very sorry. I still can't believe what happened at the ruins. I just... I mean, 
What can Chester possibly be thinking? Mayor, I hate to say this, but we have larger concerns at the moment. The closure of the quarry is bad enough, but to threaten a priest on top of it all... Chester's a factor, yes, but I think our first priority should be McGuire. He is indisputably the root of our problems. Yes. You're right, of course. Bishop Nicholas, do you have any inkling as to what Count McGuire may be after? I'm afraid not. But then, he's never been one to talk openly about his affairs. His wife and their two children attend morning mass without him always. I do find it hard to believe, though, that he'd try and claim authority beyond that of the church. What would you suggest we do about Father Pierre, then? As head of the Falgana Diocese, it is my duty to oversee the well-being of all members of the clergy. When I return to the castle, I intend to have a talk with the Count. Fear not, I should be able to secure Father Pierre's release. Much obliged on that. I'll leave Father Pierre to you, then. Thank you. I must say, though, I am a bit concerned about these statues Count McGuire has Chester searching for. May we see the two you've found thus far, Adol? Adol produced the statues from his pack. Interesting. And very unique. So, the big critters were guarding these? Hmm. I sense an unusual power from within them. It's possible there may be a link between these statues and the recent monster appearances. What? How do you figure? Well, this is pure conjecture on my part, but these two come from the quarry and the ruins, both of which seem to be hotbeds for monster activity as of late. And each was guarded by a large creature of unusual strength. Does that not strike you as more than mere coincidence? Hmm. You may be right. And if that's the case, we'd be especially foolish to let the Count get his hands on them. I think we should safeguard them until we know exactly what's happening. What's wrong, Dewey? Oh, nothing. I just get the feeling I've seen these statues somewhere before. Oh, what? Come on, out with it, Dewey. I'm thinking, I I'm thinking. It's not like this was just yesterday. It was down inside the old abandoned mine, if I recall correctly. There was a mural painted on the wall. Abandoned mine? It's an old, deep section of the Tigray Quarry that we exhausted long ago. Been closed off ever since. We found a really ornate mural painted on one of the walls there. Can't even imagine how old it was, but if memory serves, it depicted four statues that looked an awful lot like the ones we've got here. Could there really be a connection? Hmm. Well, it certainly warrants an investigation. Right! Hey, Adam, what say we split our efforts? I think I have an idea. I'll get my stuff together and return to the Elder Mountains while you head to the abandoned mine. Ah, you intend to see Berhardt? Yeah, the old master. He knows more about Felgana's legends and folklore than anyone else. Plus, he might know something about Chester's situation. He was Chester's master too, after all. He might have some idea why that idiot's been acting like such a jackass. I'll speak with Chester directly at the castle. He may be more likely to grant Father Pierre's release than McGuire. I'll also see if I can learn anything pertinent about the statues while I'm there. Sounds like a plan. Hope you can talk your way through that thick skull of his. That all? I'll catch you later. But good luck in the abandoned mine. Don't get yourself killed without me, you got it? If you have a chance, too, be sure to check in on Ellen. I feel so bad for her. Poor kid. Let's... All right, Adol. The entrance to the abandoned mine is next to the quarry storehouse, at the bottom of that first vertical shaft. I'll go on ahead and get the door open, since the lock's kind of tricky. Are you sure that's wise, Dewey? Monsters aside, remember the quarry's off-limits right now. It won't be a problem. I'll bring Paul and Ricardo for manpower, and we'll be in and out before anyone's the wiser. Got it, Adol? Don't keep us waiting.
Welcome. That's the one you want? Take your time, no hurry. That's the one you want? Thank you. Don't be a stranger. Apologize for what Chester did. I mean, I know it's little comfort, but he's my brother, and I felt I should give you something as an apology on his behalf. It's a family heirloom of sorts, adoptive family heirloom, anyway. Supposedly, if you envision one of the old travel monuments while stroking its feathers, you'll be sent right there. Think of it as a very useful good luck charm. As for me, I'll be alright. I've been contemplating all the horrible things my brother's been doing. And I know I should be angry with them, and I am, don't get me wrong. But no matter what, he's still my brother. I'll always love him just the same. He's the only true family I have. So, like I said, I'll be alright. I don't know if I got through to him or not. I just know that I want all this to stop. Oh, if you see my brother again on your travels, would you please tell him something for me? Don't go out of your way to find him, of course. I just mean, if you cross paths again, tell him I said, thank you. Adol silently nodded his consent. I appreciate it, Adol. Ugh. I'm such a mess. You're headed to the abandoned mine, right? Please.
you, the young master seems to have slipped past the guards, and anything you can do to find him and confirm his safety would be most appreciated. Forgotten your way, the castle is to the north. I'll follow you. about. Please, try to listen. Do you know how upset I would be if anything were to happen to you? Fran, I'm sorry. I just wanted to see where Father was going. He never plays with us anymore. I barely even see him. You were chasing after the Count, then. Oh, I understand. <sighs> well, at least he's back, see? You just literally saved my neck. Really, now? If you hadn't been goofing off on the job, this never would have happened in the first place. Fine, fine. I'll admit it. Anyway, we shouldn't keep the Lady of the Manor waiting, right? Oh, yes. You're absolutely right. Adol, I believe my lady would wish to thank you personally. Please, won't you join us inside?
presenting The Lady of the Castle. You are the swordsman who brought my son home, are you not? From the bottom of my heart, I give you my thanks. Oh, neat! His hair is so red. It looks like his head is on fire. Hey, what's his name? Oh, right. I forgot to ask. Of course you did. My name is Elizabetta. I am betrothed to Count Maguire, the lord of this land. These are our children, Alice and Christoph. May I have your name? Adol politely introduced himself. Master Adol, then. By your hand, my son has been safely returned to my care. I haven't the words to express my appreciation, but please, accept this gift as a small token of it. <laughs> I've never seen an adventurer before. You're really handsome. I'm sure you must have all sorts of stories to tell. Yes, I'd like to hear some tales of adventure as well. It seems you've piqued their curiosity. And mine as well, I must admit. Might you be willing to join us for dinner, Master Adol? My children seem to have taken quite a shining to you. My Lady Elisabetta, may I inquire as to what you are doing? Chester! Chester! Good afternoon. Master Christoph, Mistress Elise. Sir Stoddard. It is excellent that Master Christoph has been found. However, we cannot allow suspicious individuals in the castle. This man saved my son. I feel that we should accord him our trust, lest we... Count Maguire has deferred the castle's security and offensive duties to me, milady. Please understand. I am only doing what I must to fulfill those duties. Very well. You may proceed. Have you lost your mind? You would dare show your face here after what transpired in the ruins? I suggest you get out of here before Lord Maguire sees you.
Oh, the, the, the pendant. May I see it? Oh, it is Bob. I'm certain of it. This was my grandson's pendant. Adol gave Bob's pendant to Ida. Thank you. You really searched for this just for me? Seeing a young man like you brought up a lot of painful memories. It just hurt so much. I didn't want to know you, because then, if you got killed too, well, at any rate, I do beg your forgiveness. You're an adventurer, are you not? Please, allow me to give you something as a token of my thanks. I got that from one of the Genos Island natives. It can bring light to the very darkest of places. And not just light, but truth as well. It's said that anything exposed to it will reveal its true form. I have no need for its powers, though. Bob 